Now, like promised before the break, we'll connect with the management of Raymond as they are forming a new FMCG company to house all consumer products. They would be launching this under the Raymond brand name. So let's connect with Giri Raj Bagri, who's the president of the FMCG business, Raymond. He now joins us on the show. Mr. Bagri, good morning and great to have you with us. First up, which products do you plan to manufacture with your new FMCG company? Now, what we are announcing here is creation of a FMCG group with uh, the Raymond FMCG group. All the businesses of the Raymond FMCG group okay, will sit under this umbrella. There are certain legal entities which are there, which for the time being, they are expected to continue. Uh, so we are not altering any legal entity structure at this point in time. Sure. But if you can tell us, uh, Mr. Bagri, what's been the rationale behind this introduction? As you're aware that the Indian consumption landscape is growing and is expected to grow at a significant pace going forward with income levels, uh, media fragmentation and access to information increasing quite rapidly. The Raymond Group is very well poised in terms of the brands that it owns. It owns very powerful brands in the male grooming area and it is a convergence of the opportunity and the latent brands which the group has which brings us to a tipping point. Hence we see a huge future for the Raymond Group in the FMCG space. Will you be having your own manufacturing facility or will you outsource the same? Uh, I would say horses for courses kind of situation. Uh, we have a manufacturing plant in the prophylactics area in Aurangabad. On the other hand, uh, most of the JK Helen Curtis products are outsourced. Uh, the Raymond products as we do the category entry strategy and our uh, landscaping of the strategic plans, uh, we will have a combination as we see the need of in-source and outsourced manufacture. What are the products that you're looking at launching under the new brand? We've just started landscaping the emerging Indian landscape because as you would realize that the emerging India, the young India of the future is going to have needs which might be significantly different from the India of the past. So we are looking at a lot of innovative products in different categories as we go along. A bit premature for me to talk about them at this juncture. Okay, and Mr. Bhagi, for any FMCG company, sales is clearly an important aspect. aspect. Uh, what's the sales that you are targeting from this new company? From an intent point of view, let me say that what we are trying to create here is a very unique lifestyle consumer products company uh, as a group. And as a consequence, whatever are the innovations that are required to create this kind of a persona, we will, be, we will do that. Targets again are a bit premature at this point in time because we've just created this group. The whole uh, business plan and strategic uh, thrust is currently being uh, distilled and outlined. And therefore, it would be very premature for me to talk about numbers as yet. Okay, maybe too early to talk about the numbers, but if you can tell us by when will the new company come in business and start adding meaningfully to Raymond's consolidated financials? A large part of this, uh, this group, which is the Park Avenue business, the Kama Sutra business, are already in existence and doing pretty well. Uh, and they will continue to contribute to the growth as we go forward. The cherry which will come on top of it is what the Raymond's brand will hold under its umbrella. And that is a area of creation where well, the normal creation cycle would follow its path. Sure. Now investment especially towards ANP spends towards the new brand. Now that's going to be introduced and if you can take us through those details. Uh, whatever is required you know, when a new brand enters into new categories, it requires a certain level of threshold. It depends on the nature of the category and the intensity of rivalry existing in that category. So as we finalize our go-to-market plans, the investment strategy will be crafted accordingly. Okay, Mr. Bagri, we let you go on that. Thank you very much for taking time out and sharing those details of the new FMCG company that Raymond is forming. But take a look at the stock. Well, it's clearly doing very well in today's session. 2.5% of an uptick coming in. And in fact, even if you take a look at how the stock has shaped up over the last three months, there has been double-digit gains uh, that's come in for Raymond. So good going for this one. 
18 percent is what Raymond has gained over the last three months. Gaurav Visa is here with us and Gaurav uh, would like to know your thoughts on uh, Raymond. What are the chart patterns indicating to you? Over the last three months, stock has gained 18 percent. Do you see some more room on the upside? Uh, well, yes, the stock has done uh, good so far. And the expectations, if you ask me, it has uh, the kind of uh, momentum from lower levels that seen uh, on the verge of again giving a good breakout. Uh, I would be uh, quite a bit 480, that is a crucial level. If 40 is sustained, then I think in a very short term, uh, not even talking of months, but uh, in a couple of weeks also, you can expect this stock heading towards the 540 kind of level. So, yes, I am uh, uh, quite positive on the stock, it's trading above the short term averages. Uh, volume participation is there, momentum indicator is strong, and it's just about turning positive. So, yes, uh, the stock is looking good on charts as well. What about Tata Motors? We saw uh, the stock rallying in yesterday's session, but clearly giving up those gains. Do you expect the profit booking to sustain for some more time? Uh, there might be some amount of profit.